She's without doubt one of our all-time favourite guests here on This Morning. And what better way to start your Monday than catching up with Miriam Margulies. Oh, there Miriam. she is oh. and how she's <laughs> coping in, uh, in lockdown. Good morning, Miriam. How very lovely to see you. How are you coping? But not very well, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I don't like it, but I'm keeping all the rules and doing the right thing. It's the only time I ever thought I'd agree with Mr Johnson. But I do. We've all got to just stick it. Yeah, but it's but it's tough for you to stay positive, isn't it? Yes, because I'm I'm old, and I didn't think I was going to have to spend the rest of my life sitting in my kitchen. Um, but you know, I have got a garden, which you perhaps can see behind me, mm. and that's lovely. And I've been out in the garden a lot, but I won't do housework. I won't do exercises and um, I just really do Netflix and read books and chat to my friends. And I call out to the neighbours across the road. So I'm rather noisy. Well, that, that sense of community and neighbours around you is actually really important, isn't it? Oh, it's vital. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm an extrovert. I need people. Don't you? Mm. I mean, I think every, everybody needs I miss hugs. Point. Oh, I miss hugs so much. I, I, I mean, it's quite difficult, actually, because I can't hug myself. I'm too fat to get <laughs> round myself. <laughs> but, but it's what we miss, and I do Zoom with my partner. Um, Zoom is a, is a computer programme. You probably know it, and you can sort of reach people in vision, like we're doing now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're, we're on Skype now. I'm not so fond of Skype. I used to, but I, I'm, I'm a Zoomer. You sound you? quite yeah. technologically advanced there. Is that, have you got quite good at this? I'm getting better and I want to suggest, you know, you got me my last job on Call the Midwife. Yes. Well, now I'd like to suggest that I give computer advice to the over 80s. What a good idea. That's a great You're booked. Idea. Done. You are booked. <laughs> because a lot of people of my age don't know how to connect mm, yeah. and they're missing out. They can't talk to their grandchildren. They can't get messages. They can't, you know, book, book a takeaway. I mean, it, it's important that people are not disenfranchised because they don't know computer. Mm -hmm. So I'm really quite a good person to teach them. I well, think that's a very good I idea. Think great I, think, idea. I, think, I think you'll probably be on before the week is out to, to uh, start this new series with us. Um, so do you sit... Is it true that you sit on your front step and chat to people oh, as they go by? I <laughs> 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 I, I do. <laughs> I do sit on my front steps because I've got a, a, an old Victorian house which I bought in 1973 for 21 and a half thousand. Now it's worth over a couple of million. Yeah. So who's a clever girl? Who's a clever girl? Uh, but I had to borrow the money from my parents to get it because I didn't earn a, a squibbly squat, you know, when I when I was starting. But anyway, I've got this house and it's got steps up, and I sit on the top step. And I just shout at people going past. <laughs> um, it's human contact, isn't it? And do they talk? Do they talk back? You have a good chat, do you? Do they think? Do they say, yes, "Oh well, my they... God, that's Miriam Margulies on that step"? Professor Sprout is talking <laughs> to me from the top step. <laughs> well, some of them run a mile, of course, and uh, but some do. I mean, mostly they do come and talk to me, and that's lovely. Mm. And uh, my garden is beautiful because Marcos is my gardener. And I do see him because, you know, when you get money and I've got money now, I can pay for people to come and do things. That's the point. Mm. That's uh, the whole point of having it. So does it... But I don't I, I actually don't give a stuff about the economy. I want people to live. I want us all to survive. Yeah. So that I think Boris Johnson is completely right about that. He's not right about anything else, <laughs> but he is right about that. And um, uh, and you say you've been with uh, with your partner Heather for is it fifty two years that you guys have been together? Yes. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, and, and part part of the the reason perhaps that it's lasted so beautifully is that you don't see each other all the time. How would it have been if you had been in lockdown together? I, I would have loved that actually. I don't know whether she would because she's an introvert, so she likes to be quiet and get on with her her work which is she's writing a book about Indonesia but I would have loved that I'm not afraid of it and I think that we will really try to be together from now on because 
that's what life's about, loving someone. I was lucky enough to find someone who, who, who was prepared to love me. I'm not, I'm not that lovable, you know. I'm smelly and noisy and, and all that sort of thing. But she loves me, and I want to be with her for yeah. the rest of my life. Oh, that's, that's all I want. You are very lovable, that's for sure. Um, people are saying that actually the things you come, coming out of lockdown, how life will change for all of us and, and those good things in life that we have learned about ourselves that we'll be able to take from this going forward. What, what have you learned? What will you take forward? Well, I, I think I've, I've learned that I've, I've got to cook. I've got to learn to cook because at the moment I'm just eating bread and cheese and takeaways from my Thai restaurant, which which are brought round. Um, I, I think we'll realise the importance of reading. I hope that people will go back to reading a bit and just being nicer to each other. You know, we're all at death's door, frankly, and we've got to make the time that we have left sweeter. So I hope people are just going to be kinder and, and more generous and more thoughtful than than we are. You know, we're all in our own little bubble, aren't we? Yeah, That's definitely. the trouble. And, um, um, and so you, you, you're a workaholic. You, you never stop, uh, stop working. Um, and here is a, suddenly a taste of, of everything disappearing, almost, I suppose, like if you retired. Um, does that mean that you've thought during this, do you know, I'm quite enjoying what is an enforced semi-retirement, a, a, a temporary retirement, or are you just bursting to go back to work? No, actually, I'm rather enjoying it because I don't have deadlines. I mean, it was a bit of a nuisance having to get up for you this morning. <laughs> and in fact, when, <laughs> when they called to make the test call, I was in the shower. Um, and, you know, I thought, oh, poo, or words to that effect. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a change. <laughs> but I'm, I'm very conscious that I'm on you know, on, on television in the morning. Well, you've never been conscious are... before. <laughs> it's the first well, time. <laughs> I, I know, but I don't, want, I don't want to offend, you see. I really don't. It's I never, never bothered you in the past. <laughs> <laughs> it, it slips out. <laughs> As the actor said to the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Miriam, thank you for getting up. Thank you for having a shower to talk to us. We love um, you. We absolutely love you. Listen, if you're you. ever bored, just call us. We're here every morning between 10 and... What time do we come off air? 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my good thank gracious. Thank you for having me. You're, you're so always welcome. welcome. Lots so of love. Welcome. Stay safe. Thank you, Miriam. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye now.